Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Hallelujah. God loves you, my friend, and God has the greatest things in store for you. Today, today, today is your day for a miracle. So what I want you to do today is go and call somebody and tell them to tune into the show today because God is going to do something so powerful and so wonderful in their lives. I'm reaching out to you today all the way from here, from Hollywood, California, my friend, and God is going to pour out a major blessing on your life today. My name is Pastor Leslie Peters, and I'm the pastor of Harvest Celebration Church, which is located in the beautiful city of Los Angeles in California. Glory be to God. My friend, what I want to do today, hallelujah, is I want to pray for some people because the Lord is showing me a lot of you need prayer today. A lot of you need your breakthrough today. So I want to go right ahead and I want to pray with you. And then if I have some time, I want to go on and share that message that I was sharing with you last week. Hallelujah. Now, one of the things I want to do today is I may want to pray a little bit in tongues as well because because praying in tongues signifies that one has the baptism in the Holy Ghost. In other words, that one is filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So I want to go with praying a little bit in tongues, and then I'm going to start addressing some of your needs, and I'm going to start praying over you today. Let's go right now. Begin, If you can, begin to pray in tongues, or if not, you can pray in English. That's fine. Hallelujah. Let's go right now. Shanda la barrio siki ario siki ariende lima she alia sekunde stai ala bus kelia siku elia monde viten viden ala bus de keria siki shai elmse kario siki amario siki amande liku steria masekende stai hallelujah. Now right now I'm sensing that somebody needs a prayer right here because you're going through a situation where you feel very burdened. You feel very, very burdened. It's like you're carrying this big load on your shoulder, and God says, tell my people that I want them to be completely free. Hallelujah. In fact, right now, I see the Lord Jesus coming. Hallelujah. And he is unbuckling that load off of your shoulder. So right now, I command those burdens to loose you and to go from you in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to pray for somebody that has sickness right now. You've got pain in your back. You've also got pain in, in your head region as well. And right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command all of that pain to go in Jesus' mighty name. Satan, take your filthy hands off of the property of God. I charge you by the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen to me, devil. You have no business at afflicting this person right now in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. For somebody right now that has cancer, I rebuke that cancer. I command you out in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Right now in Jesus' name, I declare that you be completely healed in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Cancer must go in Jesus' mighty name. In fact, some Somebody is uh, receiving chemotherapy right now. And I speak healing into your body. Be made whole, be made healed, be made completely well in Jesus' name. And I also want to pray for somebody right now with a financial need. That's right. You have a severe financial need. It seems like you just don't have enough money any longer. So, Father, I pray in Jesus' name that that financial need be met in Jesus' name. I call forth finances from the north, the south, the east, and the west, and I declare money cometh in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth. Somebody right now that's unemployed, you haven't had a job for the last six months. 
And I pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus that that need be met today. My God shall meet that need. He's a mighty God. He's an awesome God. And he's a powerful God. I, I decree today a money miracle in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody that has a compulsive habit. You have a compulsive habit. I don't know what it is. It might be cigarette smoking. It may be drugs. It may be alcohol or whatever, right now I command every compulsive habit to leave you in Jesus' name. I declare today that you be completely and totally free in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Right now also, members of your family are not well in body. Members of your family, right now, I speak healing to them. I speak strength to them. For somebody's father right now that's not well in body, oh, I speak the healing power of Jesus. And I declare, be healed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth. The God that we serve is awesome. Somebody's mother is not well right now. Be made complete completely whole in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. For somebody right now that's suffering with a panic attack, you don't understand why, but all of a sudden you begin to start panicking. You know, right now you panic attack, I rebuke you and I command you out in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, the panic attack has to leave right now in Jesus' name. Somebody that's suffering from some heavy bondage, I don't know whether it's alcohol or whatever that bondage might be, but I break its power in the mighty and powerful name of the Lord Jesus. I declare that you be healed right now, that you be delivered, that you be completely set free in Jesus' name. Somebody else is crying out and saying, Pastor, pray for me because I need more spiritual strength in my life. I need some strength. I just need spiritual strength right now. May you be healed. May the strength of Almighty God come into your body, making you every withhold. In Jesus' name, right now, spiritual strength come. Also, right now, for somebody that's hurting, you feel emotional pain, a lot of emotional pain. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke that pain. It must go this very minute, this very moment. All pain must leave your body. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says that Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed somebody that has disobedient children your children are not obeying you as they should right now in Jesus' name father god I pray that you get a hold of the children and I pray that the children would submit and heal themselves to their parents in Jesus' name. Do it, Lord. Give them a miracle right now. Take away all disobedience in Jesus' mighty name. And then we also pray, Lord, for that feeling of restriction. Somebody feels like they have no freedom in their life. Uh, they feel hemmed in. They feel bound. Right now, I speak freedom into your life, my friend, and I declare be free. Be made whole in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Somebody that might be going through homelessness, or you know of somebody that might be homeless, right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I speak a blessing over your life. And I pray in Jesus' name that you're going to find that home that you need. Glory to God. You know, God is a mighty, mighty good God. Hallelujah. He's a powerful, powerful, glorious God. Hallelujah. For somebody that has fear, you know, F-E-A-R is false evidence appearing real. You suffer with all kinds of fears and phobias. Right now, I rebuke that in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth. I command that fear out and I command boldness into your life. Amen. Somebody else that's suffering with depression 
Oh, you feel extremely worried, extremely depressed. You don't understand. You don't know where it comes from. But I command the depression to leave you right now. Go and never come back. The blood of Jesus is against you. All depression has to leave this very moment. Somebody that's suffering with the disappointment, you know. No, my friends, I tell you, I rebuke that disappointment. And I declare to you today that God has an appointment for you. Glory to God. God is going to do something so miraculous in your life, my friends. Hallelujah. God has only the greatest and the finest blessings over your life. Somebody else that suffers with a lot of worry, I rebuke that spirit of worry. Your spirit of worry, the Lord Jesus Christ rebukes you. Right now, you be filled with joy, my friend. You be filled with life. Hallelujah. You be filled with boldness in Jesus' name. All worry must go in Jesus' name. There's a lady right now. You've been suffering with a lot of abuse. I'm talking about physical abuse and also mental abuse or mental torture as well. I rebuke that abuse from you right now in Jesus' mighty name. And I decree to you and I declare to you today, be healed, be delivered, and be set completely free in Jesus' mighty name. There's somebody else You've been suffering with a lot of grief. Uh, a loved one has passed on, you know, and it seems you don't know how to escape this grief. And I pray today that the Lord Jesus will lift that burden. Hallelujah. That the Lord Jesus will fill your heart with a glorious peace. It's going to be wonderful what God is going to do in your life, my friend. Somebody else that just has been divorced. You know, divorce is not an easy situation, friends. It's like a rending of the flesh. And and I pray today that somebody be completely healed. There's a lot of emotional pain that you're going through, but I pray that God would heal you, that God would strengthen you, and that God would bless you today. Somebody else, you need your physical relationships to be blessed. And I pray, Almighty God, that you would bless their relationships. I pray that you would touch their marriage. Lord, even their wife is no longer with them. The wife has taken off, and she's gone to live with uh, uh, other children. Lord, I pray that you bring her back in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. You are awesome and you are powerful. There's somebody else that feels like nobody cares for you. Lord, today I thank you that you care for them. You love this person, Lord. Oh, Jesus, just go and stretch out your arms and place your loving arms around them, Lord, and show them that you really love them and you care for them. In fact, there's somebody else right now. You feel suicidal. You've already figured it out in your mind how you're going to take your life. You thought about this, but right now I rebuke suicide. I rebuke that spirit of suicide out in Jesus' mighty name. Be delivered, be completely set free in Jesus' mighty name. Shanda labario se, ricusteri abbas secundi stai, ha della mende, alabase, co ario se, a rebebebe shukori abbas secundi. There's somebody else that has no peace in their heart. You feel like all peace has fled. And I'm asking God Almighty that today, 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 that God is going to fill you with the shalom of God. God is going to fill you with the shalom of God. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In the New Testament, we call it RNA, which is the tranquil state of one who knows that their salvation is assured. May God fill you with his beautiful peace. There's somebody else right now. You feel so frustrated. You feel so absolutely frustrated. You don't know why you feel that way. But right now I rebuke that spirit of frustration and I command it out in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Hallelujah. I also want to minister to the needs of, of, of Christians today, pastors, leaders. I pray that God would strengthen you. I pray that God would bless your church. I pray that God would bring forth more and more souls into your local assembly. Whatever has been hindering the growth of your church, I rebuke it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. You be healed, you be delivered, and you be completely set free in Jesus' name. 
Somebody has been suffering with witchcraft. Uh, oh, you feel like you're a victim of witchcraft. You feel like somebody is pulling strings on your life. I rebuke that demon of witchcraft. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Get out right now. The blood of Jesus is against you. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, touch this person right now. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Thank you in Jesus' name. There's also somebody else that's been suffering with loneliness. Loneliness is a terrible situation. You feel utterly alone. You feel so alone. You feel like nobody loves you, like nobody cares for you. I pray that God will let you know that he loves you, that God will care for you because God really does care for you. Glory to God. There's somebody else today that's suffering with driving anxiety. You have driving anxiety. I mean, you may drive on the streets, but you find it very difficult to drive on the highways, on the freeways. I pray that Almighty God would touch you right now in Jesus' mighty name, that God would bless you in Jesus' name. Somebody with marriage problems right now, may God strengthen your marriage. May God give your husband a give your wife an understanding heart that God would truly restore your marriage. It'll be a beautiful marriage. It'll be sort of like a match made in heaven. It's going to be glorious. So touch them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody else that has no children, you're barren, and you want children. You so desperately want children. Father, I pray that you would touch this person right now in the mighty and powerful name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Glory to God. Well, the Lord Jesus richly bless you, my friend. Remember, you can always call me directly at 818 818- 261-8379. And I will certainly be here to pray with you. Amen. Remember that phone number. It's 818-261-8379. Or go to my website, www.harvestcelebrationchurch.com. Hallelujah. And connect with me right there as well. Glory to God. Well, what I want to quickly do for you right now, if I can... Amen. I want to draw your attention to Psalm chapter number 35 and verse number 27. And I was preaching this message last week, but I didn't get the opportunity to complete it. Psalm 35 and verse number 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of of his servant. Let's take off right now again from that phrase that says, yea, let them say continually. You know, dear friends, I believe in the proper confession of the word of God. In my church, week after week after week, I'm always getting the people of God to confess the word of God, because what we say is what we get. You know, the Bible declares in Proverbs chapter number 18 and verse number 21, the Bible says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit of it. Hallelujah. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit of it. Glory be to God. So, dear friends, that's why we have weekly confessions. We are constantly confessing the word of God. Then the Bible says, let the Lord be magnified. That's right. The Lord is worthy to be praised. His name ought to be magnified. That word magnified means to be made bigger. Glory to God. You know, dear friends, here are 16 names of God. Hallelujah. Number one, his name is Elohim, which means God. Then his name is Yahweh, which means Lord Jehovah. His name is El Elyon, the Most High God. Hallelujah. His name is Adonai, which means Lord and Master. His name is El Shaddai, which means Lord God Almighty. His name is El Olam, which also means the everlasting God. His name is also Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals you. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is my banner. His name is Elkanah. Hallelujah. 
which means jealous God. Jehovah Mikadesh, the Lord who sanctifies you. His name is Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts. Jehovah Raha, the Lord is my shepherd. His name also is Jehovah Sidkenu, glory to God, the Lord our righteousness, and Jehovah Shema, the Lord is there, glory to God. I want you to know that God is bigger than any sickness and any disease, my friend. We serve a mighty, mighty good God, a powerful Savior. Hallelujah. God is bigger than lack. God is so awesome. God is so mighty. Then the Bible goes on and says, it says, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of of his servant. Listen, friends, God takes pleasure, not in your poverty, but God takes pleasure in your prosperity. Hallelujah. God gets a big smile on his face every time he sees you prosper. How would you feel if you were a parent and your, your child came home, your son or your daughter, and says, Dad, I just bought a new car. Wouldn't you be happy? If your child came and said, Dad, I'm thinking of buying myself a new home, wouldn't you get happy? Well, dear friends, think about it. God gets so glad when he sees his children prospering. Hallelujah. Well, God takes pleasure in the prosperity, not in the poverty of his servant. Amen. Remember, you're not just a servant of the Lord. You are a son and a daughter of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Well, dear friends, I want you to know as we close today, that I preach the God of yes and amen. Hallelujah. I preach the pure gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I declare today that you are blessed, blessed, blessed. Hallelujah. God is on your side, dear friends. I promise you if I had to live my life all over again, I would serve Jesus every step of the way. He is amazing. He has promised us a beautiful heaven one day when we leave this world. Hallelujah. He is going to do something so awesome, so wonderful, and so powerful in your life, my friends. In 2 Corinthians chapter number 1 and verses number 18 down to verse number 20, we read these words. But as God is true, our word toward you was not yes and yea and nay. Amen. Look, we don't preach a yea and nay gospel. We don't pray that sometimes God will heal you and sometimes he doesn't heal you. No, we preach a big yes. Hallelujah. We preach that the God that made these promises to you is a God who is going to fulfill it in your life. Uh, dear friend, I pray to God with all of my heart today that you will give your life to Jesus and that you would be completely born again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then the Bible goes on to say, For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me and Sylvanus and Timotheus, was not yea and nay, but in him was yea. Glory to God. Well, that's a gospel that I'm also called to preach. I preach the big yea. I preach the big yes. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty, mighty good God. Hallelujah. For all the promises of God in him are yea and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Hallelujah. That's right, my friend. All the promises of God a yes, and in him, amen. Oh my gosh, what an awesome, awesome gospel we preach. We serve a mighty God. Now, dear friends, if you have not as yet received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, I want you to say this prayer after me. Say this. Close your eyes right now and say this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, say, Almighty God, I come to you today in the name of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe with all my heart that Jesus Christ is my Savior and my Lord. I receive Jesus Christ as the Lord of my life, and I am completely born 
again in Jesus' name. Well, congratulations, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the kingdom of God. You're a child of the Most High God. Father God loves you tremendously, and he has only the finest. He has only the best for you, my friend. Come out of that life of darkness. You are no longer, in fact, in that, in, that, in that place of darkness, but you are in the kingdom of God's dear son. Hallelujah. You're born again. That's right. You're my brother. You're my sister right now. Glory to God. God loves you dearly. God loves you tremendously. And God is going to do something so powerful in your life, my friends. Oh, glory, glory to God. Again, dear friends, like I mentioned, if you would like to contact me, please go and call me at 818-261-8379. Amen. 818-261-8379. Or go to my website. It's on the screen right now, www.harvestcelebrationchurch.com www.harvestcelebrationchurch.com. Hallelujah. Now, I've written a beautiful book, amen, that I'd like you to get a hold of that book, amen. I sell it for $19.99, and it is simply entitled Our Heavenly Citizenship. Amen. Our Heavenly Citizenship. Go on to my website, www.lesliepetersbooks.com or also go and purchase my CD simply entitled Send Me. Go on to my other website www.lesliepetersmusic.com Hallelujah. And God will bless you tremendously. Always know that I'm here ever ready to pray with you. You can call Dial a Prayer 818 818- 380-1510. You can connect with me on Facebook. Hallelujah. There's always a prayer there on Facebook as well. Well, God richly bless you. Same time next week, I want to connect with you in prayer right here on the station. All the best to you. God bless you. Bye-bye.